Hi, I'm Michael O'Connor, author of Discover Cape Cod from Appalachian Mountain Club Books. Discover Cape Cod features 50 of the best hiking, paddling, and cycling trips on the Cape. Now I'd like to show you some of my favorite trips as we discover Cape Cod together. One of the great things about hiking the five miles of Great Island is that you can go along the inner bay side or you can walk on, on the outer bay side. On the inner bay side it takes you over a couple of hills and past a colonial era tavern and settlement. From here you have terrific views of Wellfleet Town and looking southward towards East Ham. Out on the bay side you can look across that broad expanse of water to the very tip of the hook at Provincetown. When you are out here even though it's only a five mile spit and you don't have to walk five miles each way to enjoy it, you can feel like you're the only person on Cape Cod, even on some of the busiest weekends. Hi, I'm here on Gull Pond, one of the 50 trips described in Discover Cape Cod. This, as you can see, offers one of the finest paddling experience you'll have anywhere on the East Coast. It's very, very, very calm water. It's beautiful water. You actually can paddle from this pond into another pond just north and from there to a third pond, enjoying a more pristine experience in each pond. One of the best ideas about this pond is to paddle stay close to shore near the pond grass where you can see everything from frogs to turtles to wading birds. State of Massachusetts stocks this pond every year, so not only are there natural species that live in the pond, but there's also a fair amount of trout that are put in here each year and draws fishermen from all over the state. We're here on the Cape Cod Rail Trail. The rail trail is one of the finest recreational resources here on Cape Cod. It's a bike actually an overall recreation pathway that runs from Dennis to Wellfleet, um, about 25 miles. Because you're on the Cape, it's essentially flat, it's winding. It takes you through a variety of um, habitats, from open fields to cranberry fields to uh, forests. And then you actually have some terrific views of bays that lead right out to the ocean. And one of the best things about the bike trail, if ice cream or a cold drink is not enough, the trail itself passes by some great glacial ponds which are perfect for swimming. In fact, I'm maybe head on down to one right now. Get more great trip ideas from my new guide, Discover Cape Cod, available now from Appalachian Mountain Club Books.